And so this is what I wanted to, to talk about today. You will never see it until you be it. And you'll hear me repeat this a lot. You won't see the result until you be it. You have all the results that are in alignment with who you are. All the results that are in your life are in alignment with who you are. And so the, the truth is, is that you're out of emotional alignment with that which you want. And that's a truth, because if you weren't out of a, an emotional alignment with it, you would have it or you would be already feeling it and it wouldn't be something that you're desiring. The wizard's gate is this beautiful place with no desire and no resistance. And people get themselves confused. Well, what do you mean, Chris? No desire. Well, when you choose to have something, it's a choice. It's not a desire. It's just, oh, I'll have that. It's not something that I'm longing for. It's just, I'll have it. I'll have it now, thanks. It's more similar to sitting down and looking at a menu and going, you know, am I going to have the, you know, am I going to have the lasagna or am I going to have a steak? You know, which, which one do I really want? Hmm. I'll just choose this, you know, am I going to make a million or am I going to make 5 million? Hmm, which one do I want? Does that make sense? Am I going to have a thousand people at a seminar or a hundred people at a seminar? Hmm, this one, you know, that's it. That's it. See how it's not a desire and that's key. That's key to understand that you're already it. So you're just making a choice. It's key, but people make a lot of mistakes, don't they? One of the mistakes that I see proliferated out there on the internet is, um, law of attraction, woo woo, mumbo jumbo. And uh, they talk about how you're going to manifest this and, and sit around and it's, it's, it's going to be attracted to you. And uh, here, here's the truth is you show me a successful person that uh, just sat around and waited for, you know, the success to show up. And that's when I'll pay attention to them. True. It's just not true. Who's with me with that? It's just not true. Like you don't see, it's not what Oprah Winfrey did. She had to go out there and do her thing. You know, you, uh, Steve Jobs, Richard Branson, they had to do it. They had to do that. There was an action. And so they get it wrong. They just get it wrong. But they, you know, it feels good to say that and say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm manifesting. They say, there's just no truth in it. There's, there's also no truth in trying to heal the current reality. Does that make sense? You can't heal um and then all of a sudden you become something else it's a very big misconception the misconception is i'm going to do inner work on who i am now and suddenly i'm going to spit out of who i am now and i'm going to i'm going to turn up as this other thing does this make sense guys it can't happen and i and a, a lot of us try that you, you can't work on who you are here and then all of a sudden you're someone else right um yeah that's true um, Mary says, uh, often Chris, people are not afraid of action, but they don't know what decision to make or what action to take. So what they are afraid of is failing because uh, if they don't know what action to take, of course, they know what action to take. Everyone knows an action to take. They're actually the truth in that statement, Mary, and let me know if it lands is a, they're scared of taking the wrong action. Yeah. So what, what's interesting is, is another thing that I see people do is they, they stay in the current reality, okay, and then they want to add a plan or a course to the current reality. And I want you guys to really get this because I've seen a few of us on this call, and I'll call it us as a group, is we're here in the current reality. We think, oh, look, here I am. If I just add this to, to what I have, let's say if I just add marketing, if I just add a new skill. If I just add a new certificate to who I already am, oh, well, then I will get there. See, that will never work. You can't stand in the current reality, add something to it, and then because of that, you become someone new. Can't happen. Cannot happen. But yet I see it. And look at the bookshelf behind me. I'm like that. You know, you stay here. And, and, and it's just, it's so interesting to me because uh, a lot of people just have only ever made their money by telling other people some law of attraction and coaching and stuff, let's just be yes. And it's not true for me. It's not true for us. And, and it's, it, it's, it's what something I think I have to keep reminding you, you guys on these calls uh, who agrees because so easy to slip back into, well, I'm going to stay in the current reality and then somehow I'm going to, I'm going to move. 
Um, it, it's a big thing. I, I feel like I do need to remind you. Another thing that we make a mistake on is we let something external control how we feel. And I want you to get this. And, and I say this at all the preview events and the seminars. I say, you know, if you were to make a million dollars right now, how would you feel? Type it in. If you were to be given make a million dollars, how would you feel? Great. Awesome. Free. Excited. Yeah. Those are good things. Those are all good things. Where is everybody? Some people are not typing in. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing. And so uh, the question, another question is, if someone was to steal all your money from you today, how would you feel? Someone's going to steal it all. It's all gone. How would you feel? Hmm. And I love, I love the truth coming through. You know, I love the truth coming through. And it's the same when people are stolen off us as well, or relationships end, or we lose something. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, guys. Like, you know, you could feel angry, but that's what's happening is that's showing you that you're attaching something to it. See, I'm going to talk about money today, guys. And let me ask you, what has to happen in order for you to attract more money in your life? What has to happen? See, a lot of people subscribe to this really, really re weird belief that in order to, to make more money, they have to feel abundant and feel free and feel grateful and feel all these things. Who's, who's heard people tell you, you've got to feel abundant and grateful and free and all these things because that's the only way you're going to get money? It's complete, it's complete horseshit. It's complete horseshit. It's so bad. It's so bad. Here's what they're saying. They're saying, you've associated that money will allow you to be free. So now you have to feel the freedom to get it. Okay. The truth is, is money shouldn't have an emotion. It's only got an emotion. They're literally showing you their hand of cards saying that they've got something external controlling their internal environment. Who's with me? They're showing you. They're saying something outside of me controls me how I feel. That's what they say. It shouldn't feel like anything. It should just be a, a thing that you have a lot of. True? See, if something external is changing the way that you feel internally, you're not, you're not it. You're not there. And I hear it. And, and it's true. You know, You can feel abundance with or without money. It's got nothing to do with it. It's not, it's not an energy. And I'm going to talk a lot about what money is today because a lot of people have just got it wrong and that's okay. Uh, another thing that I see that keeps, it, keeps us stuck in our, in our current reality is that we, we say and think one thing, but then we act in the complete opposite. And in that action, we collapse. We collapse that emotion. For example, um it happened with scott and i when was it on friday two fridays ago we went out for a meal and there was a steak that was 50 dollars and a steak that was 80 dollars. and he he looked at it and he said oh man i wonder what's good about this 80 dollars steak and i was like man i bet it's amazing and then when the waiter comes around he chooses the 50 dollars one i said oh why'd you choose that he said oh well you know it's cheaper i said what are you telling your subconscious man what are you telling your subconscious and so not, not saying that he needed to choose the more expensive one, just that if he wanted it, he should have just chosen it because that's saying I'm, a, I'm in abundance. I've got a lot of it. So we say one thing, we say I'm in abundance, I'm financially free, but then we do, it, do the opposite, you know. And, and the last one is we plant seeds of one emotion trying to grow another. And this is going to be something I talk about today. So we plant seeds of scarcity trying to grow an abundance tree or we plant seeds of doubt trying to go grow a confidence tree so the truth is is you'll never see it until you be it and and that's the journey that's the journey is becoming what it is that you desire before it shows up well not before it shows up so that it can show up because the truth is and i, and I, I want to make sure everyone understands this is that 
if you're not in emotional alignment with it, it can't be in your life. You, you've got to be in the right emotion and you've got to be completely satisfied so you can just choose more. And I know that this is a reverse way of thinking compared to, you know, the way that we've been taught about things. But the truth is, is goal setting keeps you stuck. You can quote me on that. Let me see how much this is landing with you. Why does goal setting keep you stuck? Why does goal setting keep you stuck? It doesn't even make sense. Goal setting, everyone knows goal setting, right? Why does why does everyone who set goals have to you know never reach them? I know people that have set goals to become a millionaire so many times that they've that they've forgotten about setting it. They just set it every single year. Right, everyone's got it because it reinforces that you're not it reinforces that you're not it the setting of the goal isn't the isn't the problem it's how it's done yeah right on you, you're operating from separation so let's talk about money because wouldn't it be isn't it true that everyone on this call would like to choose to have more money yeah everyone everyone be happy to have more if not um my first choice is you can give me some more of yours <laughs> Cool. So everyone's happy to choose to have, have more money. So the first question that we, uh, we want to ask is what is money? What is it? What is it? It's a big question and we've got to ask ourselves, what is it? And um, a tool. Yeah, could be. I like that. It's emotion. It's energy. Yeah. So a lot of people get this wrong. People always tell me money is an energy. You know, money is an emotion. Money's a tool. I want you guys to write this one down on whatever it is you've got in front of you or, or, or even just type it in so you, you own it. Money is a measurement. Money is a measurement. It is a measurement of how much value that you have given to someone in a way they want to pay for it. Money is a measurement of how much value you've given to another human being in a way they want to pay for it. It's a measurement. Just like a centimeter or a kilogram, it's a measurement. It just measures something. It's not measuring your worth. It's not an energy. It just measures. And if you have a lot of it, you've, if you've added a lot of value to others in a way that they want to pay for it, you will have the ability to give some of it away to then get other things that you desire. It's just a measurement. You know, I like what Peter said. It's a tool. It's a tool. I like that too. It's a tool. It's a measurement. It's just a, it's a thing. Who gets that by the way? It's just measuring and it's measuring that it's measuring something very, very, very specific. And it's not measuring your, your output. It's not measuring your value. It's not measuring your worth because and it's not measuring, it's really not measuring just value because you can provide value and not have money. It's, it's measuring, it's measuring how much value you've provided to someone in a way they want to pay for it. Yeah, sure, Ash. So the question is, is what is value? What is value? Well, value is just increasing the satisfaction for another human being. That's what value is. So some people value going to Disneyland. Some people value getting a massage. Some people value uh, having a nice car. Some people value having a coach. It increases satisfaction in their life. Does that make sense? That's what value is. And so money just measures how much value you've provided to someone in a way they want to pay for it. And that's all it's measuring. That's all it's measuring. See, money's I've got a flow to it because all it's doing is measuring who wants, who's giving more value to others. So when you have a lot of it, then you think to yourself, you know what, I'd value a holiday. So then away it goes. Someone else gets more of it. 
it measures I, I feel like having a massage every single day. So that, you know, Harriet and I earlier this year, we got a house assistant and a chef, a dog walker, all these things to give us our time. And so money then was able to flow to, to have that value received. Does that make sense, Ash? Type in the as everyone gets what money is. Let me know. Nice. So it's a measurement. And so, you know, our job, if we want to create money, our job, it doesn't say you have to be the best at anything. It doesn't have to say you have to invent anything. All it says is you have to provide value to somebody else in a way they want to pay for it. So some people provide value by having a property that another person rents. Some people provide value by having a service. Some people provide value by loaning money out. Some people provide value, you know, by creating a product, having a cafe, having a restaurant, you see? And that's it. That's it. Now, what happens, though, is because we haven't truly realized that money's just measuring the amount of value that we are giving to others, we've made a fundamental mistake. And I want you to get this. We believe that we get money. You don't. What you do is you give value in a way that people want to pay for it. Who gets that? You give value in a way that people want to pay for it. People always ask me, Chris, how can I make more money? And I say, find a way to give more value to more people in a way they want to pay for it. True. What did Mary say? That's the best thing I've ever heard. Boom. If you want to make more money, Find a way to give more people value in a way they want to pay for it. That's it. People say they don't have enough money. Do you know what I hear? That they're not giving enough value to other people in a way they want to pay for it. And so we confuse, we confuse money making activities with all sorts of activities. We try to make money, making money fun. It doesn't say it needs to be fun. We try to make money, uh, you know, our purpose. You don't have to have your purpose around making money. Heck. Uh, one of my clients runs an $8 million a year business and he's a commercial cleaner. He sells commercial cleaning franchises. I promise you commercial cleaning is not his purpose, but he knows that it adds value. Businesses like to have a clean business. And so it adds value to them and they want to pay to have someone do it. And that's it. $8 million business lives in Brisbane. One of my clients. Linda and a few others know exactly who I'm talking about. True. And so people always ask me that. They say, well, you know, so I always say, be creative. Be creative. What do you see people are paying for? Well, you know, what, how are you going to increase satisfaction for another human being? So if you, don't have, if you don't have the amount of money that you want, it's a direct reflection of the amount of value you've given in a way that people want to pay for it. It's all it is. It's, all, it's only measuring that. I want you to really hear that. Do you guys hear that? It's all it is. If, if you've only found a way to, to, to deliver value to another human by having a job and giving your time, it's going to be very difficult. You see, it's going to be difficult to add enough value to enough other people to me, get enough sitting in your bank. You see? You see? So sometimes creation and creating money is we haven't understood or been shown some really critical rules. Who's learned something tonight, by the way? Who's learned something? And I haven't even done any of our process. See, see, sometimes we don't have the right premise or structure actually going on. And because of that, it can, it can stop us. Yeah. So, guys, I, I want to make sure that we, we do some work around money. And so here's my question to all of you. What, how much money would you like to, to have? And I just want you to make a choice and you can always choose something else. But, but right now my question is, is, you know, how much, how much money would you like to create and just type it in? You know, people always get themselves hung up on this. Well, have I said enough? No, just say a hundred grand. If you've never made a hundred grand, if you're struggling with it, just ask to double your income, you know, just whatever or go big. I don't mind. Everyone type in 
uh, the amount of money they're choosing to create. Awesome, 100,000 a month, 100,000 a month. Cool, 5 million. I'm going to wait till everyone's typed in because there's always someone that just doesn't ever want to decide. 300,000 pounds, beautiful. I'm going to have to kick someone's butt. Someone won't type in. I know it. Nice. Is that a thousand thousand, Hannah? Is that a million euro? <laughs> Got it. Nice. Awesome. Okay, good. So, so that's what we're all uh, choosing to create. Great stuff. Great stuff. Now, obviously, in order for that to, to be given to you, uh, usually, you know, it's a reflection of, of adding value to someone else. Now, someone always says, me, but Chris, what about winning the lottery? True. <laughs> Can win the lottery. Doesn't fit in this model, though, does it? It's not a good plan to base all of your financial stability on that. <laughs> So, uh, so here's my question. When you think about that number, what reservations do you have about it? Like, how do you, you know, how do you hold yourself back? You know, type in or write down on a notepad. What are, what are some of your reservations? Like, how do you feel reserved? How do you, what stories do you say about that sort of money? Um, let me know. What, what are some of your reservations when you, when you write that down? Love to know. Love to know. What are some of the reservations that you have about creating the money you want? Can't do it on my own. Nice one. Thank you. And type them in. It's always fun for me to see what you guys are typing in. It seems like a lot. Yeah, it probably is. I need ideas to do it. Yep. Am I really worth that? No, you're worth a, a infinitely more than that. Can't do it all by myself. Feels like there's a lot to do to get there. Cool. What are your reservations about this? I need to know how. Yep. Need to know how. Mm. That I have to adult. Good. So um, what that's really saying is, I'd have to not be me. I'd have to not, you know, live life the way I want to live it. Because I know what you mean by jokingly adult. You'd have to be serious and in the system. <coughs> Do I know enough to add value at that level? Hmm. Hmm. So l let me ask a different question. Um, what judgments have you made? Yeah, I know that. I know that that's the choice you then respond, but it wasn't it interesting uh, what came through to you before about your reservations. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. So what judgments um, have I made about this? How do I judge myself? How do I judge the world? And how do I judge others in relation to that, that goal? Type it in. What judgments? What judgments? How do you judge myself? I'm not good enough to have that. I've already seen a few come in. Others will think that I'm greedy if I have that. I feel greedy just by choosing that much. I need to be the best to give that value. Hmm. There's so much, there's so much limits on this call. Do you, you guys know the guy that's Deliveroo? Have you ordered food from Deliveroo? Do you know he's a billionaire? And all he decided to do was to create an app where people could um, deliver food. <laughs> you know, I'm shit with money, got to sweat for it. How, what judgments do you have? I'm not serious enough for this. <clears throat> the word alienate me from my friends and family. Yeah, because everyone will know exactly how much money you have in your bank. I will waste it. Nice. And good for you guys. And I, of course, I'm just being I'm teasing a couple of you because I know you know you very well. But it, it's it's just um, 
most people won't be able to relate to me. Yeah, because because Rich, what does that really say? And if someone says most people won't be able to relate to me, what are they really saying? Rich, I'm not I'm not one of those rich people. You know, my friends, rich people are different. That's what's look look at some of these statements and see what's behind it. What will my friends and family think? You know, I'll become a target. Yeah. Good for you guys. Just look at how much stuff there is uh, in between you and that reality. It's good to see. It's good to see. Because if you don't see it, then you, you don't know why you're not getting there sometimes. And you, you're not seeing that tension pulling you back. So next question, what inner conflict do you experience around this? How do you feel conflicted? Does part of you want it, part of you not? What? what how are you conflicted around uh, this goal? What's your conflict? Mm. What's your conflict? How are you conflicted? Part of me wants it. Part of me just wants to chill. Fair enough. The belief behind that is you can't earn that sort of money and chill. Life would be too easy. What's standing behind that? Life's not supposed to be easy. Wanting to take massive action versus saying, stay for, safe where I am, yeah. It's one of those stories, eh? a ship's the you know, safest in the harbor, but it's not what it's made for. I've worked so hard and it's still not there. Mm. Most likely because there was a belief that said I had to work hard to, to get there. Yep. I don't want to work hard, I just want to keep having fun, nice. So the belief behind that is you can't have fun and make millions, you know like every single sportsman does. <laughs> I'm excited about providing value, but what if others don't see my value? Nice. What if I get rejected? That's saying, yeah. Want to be all magic and enjoying myself. Part of me just wants to work hard and hustle. Yeah. This has to be hard work and the other side says I can manifest it. Yeah. Cool. So just, isn't it interesting to know some of our conflicts and, and, you know, I'm having fun with them. Let's have fun with our, we've all got shit in the way, right? I had it before and I've lost it all. I'm excited, but I just want to know that I do it right. I can't get things wrong. Yep. I have to be perfect. Yep. Yep. I like it. I like it. So, so my question to you guys is, is there's a lot of tension there's a lot of tension there, okay? And so we, we go back to this. Who's not typing in, by the way? Has anyone gone quiet? I'm watching all of you. So we have this tension and we say, you know what? I want to go and make this money, right? But I'm here. And we've said, this is what I want. I want to go this way, right? And, and as we do that, we say, here I am here. And this is what I would like to create, but then instead, what is it that we do? What is it that we do? Well, we're here and we have all these feelings, you know, I want to do it right. So instead of going for what we want, what do we do instead? Well, I want to do it right. So instead of just going for it, well, <coughs> we probably go and if someone wants to do it right, they probably get a mentor and, and read books and we do all these other things. You know, if I've had it all before and I lost it, what is it that we do to resolve that, right? And so here's my question to all of you. What is it that you do to resolve that tension? <clears throat> what is it that you do to resolve the tension? Instead of just going for what you want, right? Like the delivery guy and, you know, starting up a, an amazing company like that or, you know, investing in a certain business or just going for what we want, what is it that we do instead? And everyone will be different. That's what you say that you do, but I already know, I already know you, and I won't say your name, but I, I know that you've said you do it again and learn from mistakes. But I know what you do. You don't do that. Instead, you freeze and don't take action. Isn't it true? I'm your coach. I know. You freeze and don't do what you're supposed to do. See, and I, and I won't, I won't call you out because I'm going to be intense. And it only came, your message only came through to me. But I know, 
that you say to me, hey, well, Chris, I'll do it again and learn from mistakes. No, you don't. I see you freeze. So what do, what do the rest of you guys do? What do the rest of you guys do? Do you read more books? Do you go to more courses? Do you put it off? Do you procrastinate? Do you jump between three, four, or five? Yeah, I find myself just doing unimportant things really, really well. I go do all these other things instead of going for it. Yeah. Instead of going for it. Because the truth is, is a lot of time we're trying to resolve, resolve the way that we, you know, don't feel complete procrastinate and do unimportant things yeah yeah some of us say hey i choose you know i i choose to to make this this money um uh, and i and i really really do want it but i in, instead i'm going to i'm just going to i'm not going to do what's needed a lot of us a lot of us just won't do what's needed you know, oh, I, I want it, but I'm not going to do what's needed. I'm not actually going to ever commit to things. I'm just going to, you know, and, and the person will know who I'm talking about when I start talking about this. But, but one, of the, one of the things I hear a lot of people say is, I just want to be in flow. They say, I just want to be in flow. And, and the truth about someone that wants to just be in flow is they don't just want to be in flow because if they were truly in flow, they would choose what they want. They'd go for one thing that make great money without their time. And then they'd have all the time in the world for flow. They're actually so scared of flow. So instead they flow around always having so many things to do, but never actually enjoying the flow that they would have if they just had a disciplined life. Discipline is freedom. You know, discipline is freedom. Does that make sense to you guys? If someone will say to me, Hey, I want to live in flow. And I'm like, great. A really good way to live in flow is to be disciplined and get things done and get it out the way and get to where you want. So you've got all this time and all this money just to flow. But this person, I, it, it, you know, it's just so interesting to me because the flow could happen so much more if it, there wasn't this reliance or this pretend that there was flow. There you go. She typed into me. <laughs> good. So let me have a look at some of these others because it's interesting. This is interesting to you guys, by the way. I create things and don't make any money with them. Nice, nice. So I never start. Yep. I work harder, do longer hours. Yep. Sleep less. Perfect. Try to be perfect. Yep. No, it wasn't. Hop between strategies. Read books. Escape frustration by going to the gym. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it's interesting to, to see how we resolve the tension. Start lots of things I don't finish. Yeah, good, good. And so what we do is we're actually more committed to fixing ourselves than we are committed to, to the result. We're more committed to, to holding on to the past than we are committed to just having what it is we want. Let me know if it's true. Let me know if it's true. Because this is this is this is creation, you know. It's creation. But we it, we lie to ourselves, you know. We say, "Oh, no, I learn from my mistakes and go again." But I want you all to get this. The highest form of communication is the action that you take. Highest form of communication is the action that you take. Are you guys here with me? And I know that I'm coming in strong. I know that you're coming in strong, but the truth, there's more truth behind the scenes uh, that we can see by action. And that's where we see the truth. Because the question you have to ask yourself is what would the person who has that money, what would they do? What, where are they now? How, how would they be acting? So we're going to create some choices and we're going to set up a tension releasing structure excited about that structure yeah i love structure so what we're going to do okay is we're going to go into our, our end result of having that financial outcome does that sound good and we're going to experience it and we're going to live it to the fullest and we're going to love it and it's going to feel so good and then once we've got where we're going we're going to come back to the now and experience just the current reality now Okay, just tell the truth about it. That sets up 
the two points of manifestation, okay? Everything in this universe is done in three. You have a mother and a father, and then you. You have black, white, gray. Everything is a three. If you want to understand the laws of the universe, you understand three. So we're going to go into here to what we want to have. Then we're going to go into this, okay? That's going to set up the two ends, the polarity. What we're then going to do is we're going to go back into the end result and going to ask ourselves, what was the next action that had to be taken to move the current reality to the future? Everyone with me? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And we're going to create that money for you. So what we're going to do is a closed eye uh, exercise. So hopefully you're not driving. Uh, if you are, don't do a closed eye exercise while driving. Won't, go, won't work out for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose the end result of the amount of finances for yourself. So if you're ready, let's just go ahead and I want you to close your eyes. And just take a breath. And as you take that breath, just choose. Choose the end result of that goal. Say to yourself, I choose the end result of making whatever it is per year or per month. And as you choose it, I want you just to feel how good it feels. Notice what it's like. And I choose it for all of you. I choose that all of you have the end result of just living your, your wildest, abundant financial dreams. And then when you've got it, just open your eyes. And then type in what it was like. Type in what it was like. For me, for me, it's just, just, it's all love. For me, it's just all love. What's it for you? What's it for you when you choose that? Hmm. Centered, solid, calm, happy, content, easy, pleasant, relaxed, content, relief, peace. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the current reality compared to that. Okay. And, and, you know, don't try to, don't try to make this up. Just, just feel into the present moment compared to that. Okay. So we're going to close our eyes again. We're going to set the other part of the manifestation tension. Okay. Close your eyes again. And this time, just send to yourself and notice what it's like now compared to that goal. What's different? How does it feel now compared to that goal? I'm going to choose all of you to notice exact your, exactly your current reality and feel it perfect open your eyes how is your current reality different how is your current reality different You know, for me, my current reality was, it wasn't, it wasn't 10 out of 10 love. My current reality was like, I was calm, solid, but there's a little bit of, like I was holding back. That's what it felt like. Tense, needy, mm -hmm. congested, prickly, anxious, disbelieving, unsure, hesitant. Yeah. 
oscillating between calm, peace, and pressure. Yeah, I'd say the last one is true for you. Calm, peace, and pressure, forcing it. Unsettled worry. Yep. Good. Okay, so so that's good. And, and, and good for you for just, just owning the two ends. Uh, a couple of event type, fun and peace, overwhelm and frustration. Yeah. Fair enough. And so the, the difference, the difference between the two is the difference that you need to bridge across in order for creation to happen. On one side, you have your, your, your old self, and then you have your new self. True. So what we're going to do this time, okay, is we're going to go into the end of this again, back into the one we love, and we're going to look back, okay? So whenever you create, you always ask yourself, what would the person I'm becoming do right now? But there's only one way to know that, and that's by going into the end and looking back and asking, what did I do next? Presupposing that you've already done that and you're already this person, okay? This is how we get the next action. That's just true for you. This is how you should always design what you do next. So I will lead it. You just need to follow. So go ahead and close your eyes. Take a breath with me. And I want you to step into the end result of your financial desired goal. Go and step right into that outcome. Say to yourself, I choose the end result of whatever your outcome is per year, per month. And feel it. Now that you're here, look back at that old self back in the current reality and notice what was the obvious next step that took you from there to here. Ask yourself, what was the obvious next step? It may take a while for you to get it, so keep your eyes closed until you get it. If you've got it, open your eyes, write it down and type it in. What was your obvious next step? And if you're still thinking about it, you already got it, but you didn't think it was the right one and you're still trying. <laughs> it was the first thing that popped into your mind. Type it in when you've got your obvious next step. Is it to let something go? Is it to do something? What's the obvious next step? Relax, it's going to show up sooner than you think. Just go for it. <laughs> That's true. That's true, unless they're a shark. <laughs> Proaction and discipline. Get more attention. Nice one, Linda. <laughs> well, that's why we do the lenses. All right, cool. So a couple of you didn't get it. All right. So if you're ready to do it again, if you got it, you're good. But if you need to do it again, it's the first thing that pops into your mind. So let's go again. Okay. Close your eyes if you need to get it. Step into your future reality, having everything you decided that you wanted today. Feel how that feels. Notice what it's like. And now that you're here, look back at that old you all the way back in the current reality and ask yourself what was the obvious what was the next step i had to go from there to here
whoever's doing this with me, I want you to know that I got it for you. And it says, just give up trying to be perfect and right. Who is it that was doing it with me? Maybe it was for me. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't think so. I'm not very perfect, am I, Hannah? <laughs> it's funny. So did everybody get it? <laughs> She's just, just so everyone knows, Hannah just smiled at me going, no, you're not perfect. But it definitely wasn't for me. <laughs> I know I'm awesome, but I'm the perfect action guy. <laughs> so you're a fool if you don't take whatever action you just got told. Nice, Teresa. You're a fool if you don't listen to that next action. So I want you to get this for a second. Who really felt it when I said that, by the way? You are. You're, you're a fool if you don't take it. So what happens is, is you're wanting to go for this. You're here. You went into this end reality and you got your own truth. I didn't tell you what truth to get. You got your own truth. You looked back to here and then it said the next action I took was this. You see? The next action I should take is this. And so you got that. And that's, that's, that's what you need to do. Anything, uh, Kevin asked, should this be very specific? You know, it can be just relaxed. It could just be feeling, it could just be like, all you did next was relaxed. All you did next was prioritize. You know, it, whatever you get is, is just what you get, right? You know, and, and if you want to go in and do it again, you can, right? But, but here's, the, here's what I wanted everyone to get around this, okay? is you set these two things up. If you do anything that's not that next action, you're operating out of all of your reservations, judgments, and trying to resolve conflict. Does that make sense? Type in yes if you get it. If you do anything else, if you procrastinate, if you do anything other than what you've just been told, you're, you're literally reinforcing that you're not this person. You see? If you do anything else, you're a fool. You'll stay here. You'll stay in this reality. And you'll notice some of you, what you got told to do is, is going to be frustrating to you, isn't it? Because it's frustrating to who? To who? Who's the, who's the person that's trying to avoid doing it? Your future reality? No, that's saying this is who I am. This is what I did. This is who I am. So here's the truth. People always say that you need to live as though you already are it. You just got the answer. You just got the answer of what to do to be living like this person because the person said, this is what I do next. Who's with me? Who's with me? So my question to all of you is, who's going to follow through? Who's going to follow through? See, money's, money's an easy thing. We, we are misguided with it. We're misguided with it. Money is nothing but a measurement of how, of how much value you've provided to other human beings in a way that they want to pay for it. And value is nothing but increasing satisfaction in their life. It can be as simple as, as owning a dry cleaner shop down the road, or it can be as complex as creating Facebook. True. But it all comes down to delivering value to another human being. That's it. And if you want to have, you know, a lot of, a lot of those measurements to then be able to give to get different types of value yourself, you just must find a way to give a lot of value to a lot of people. And so it's not about all these other things that we think it is. It's just not. And so, so maybe you need to choose to have your idea. Get a clear idea.